Ian Robert Holly, I want to introduce you to your mom when she was just three months old. Tamara Ellie Hale was born on the 10th of January 1966 at Grossmont Hospital, Grossmont, California in the County of San Diego. Your mom, Tamara Ellie, was christened at St. Andrew's Episcopal Church in La Mesa, California in April or May of 1966. The young woman holding your mom is your grandmother whom you were raised to call Omi. Dorothea Secret Hale is Omi's full name and she was 23 years old. This christening, there were many aunts, uncle, cousins, and friends. Your mom's christening party was given by my parents, your great-grandparents, Pearlie and Zoe Hale, at their home in La Mesa, California. The address there is 4421 Dale Avenue, in case you ever want to explore the area where I grew up. This is your grandpa talking, and as I narrate these old movies, my full name is Charles Thomas Hale. I was born on the 15th of August, 1937, in San Diego, California. I was 28 years old when your mom was born. My friends call me Chuck, but I like it best when you call me Grandpa. My mom, your great-grandmother, had a dog named Bo. He was the first dog in your mom's life. Watch as your mom gets real excited when Bo begins to show an interest in her and licks her nose. This is an old Bell and Howell uh, 8mm and Super 8mm projector. Uh, now currently belongs to the uh, Leisure World of Video Editing Club. has several interesting features on it uh, and we will get into those as we get a close-up. Uh, I have no idea how old this projector is. It, uh, the important thing is that it does still function. Now on this projector it does have a switch that you will allow you to transfer between 8mm and super 8mm films. Uh, this is the little switch right down here in the middle. Uh, next to that is a slow motion switch which I have not found any use for personally. Maybe you will. But next to it there, the variable speed switch. This switch is absolutely vital for adjusting the speed of the film to match that of the camera to eliminate a f uh, fluctuation or a flashing or the shadow created by the camcorder picking up between the frames on the film. The lens uh, to the right will adjust the uh, size of the uh, picture being reflected upon the screen and can be used for some focus uh, abilities too. But the little knob to the left is the one that really brings in the sharpness of the focus and this is absolutely vital for transferring these films that the focus on the screen has to be uh, very very sharp. I'm demonstrating two things here as we look at this flashing uh, motion. Number one is that the speed on the projector is low at the moment causing the fluctuation in color but also notice the light reflection or referred to as the hot spot in the film. Even when I was using a transfer box for transferring the film from the uh, projector into, onto the uh, camcorder, I still was not able to completely get rid of this hot spot. And a friend of mine pointed out to me a different method instead of using the transfer box. Your mom learned to play chess at a very early age. No, not this early, but I would guess at about age seven or eight. I wonder sometimes if this was the chess set that I gave you years later. Ah yes, Tammy and her rubber duck in a bathtub. Her very first bath was actually in the kitchen sink because she was so small and she wasn't sitting up yet. It is funny, for 36 years later, Omi and I have a hot tub and we have our own rubber duck. That's right, as I'm adding voice and background music to these old movies, 36 years have passed. 
your mom is currently 36 years old, you are 14, Omi is 59, and I am currently 64. It is the month of April in the year 2002. These pictures were first taken on a Super 8 motion picture camera years before camcorders and computers were invented. I have copied them from a motion picture projector to a digital camcorder and then to the computer. I am currently engaged in adding sound. I hope to be able to add all this to a VCR. Note, your mom has her own bedroom and a pretty crib and a changing table. Right above the changing table is the very first picture of tomorrow when she was born. I am now using a white piece of paper used for watercolor painting. It has a textured surface and it does not reflect light, therefore eliminating the hot spot. At this point, I am slowly going to adjust the variable speed trying to eliminate that fluctuation in the picture that you're watching. And slowly but surely, touching it very lightly, I can eventually close it in until it's completely in sync with the uh, camcorder. Notice how I got out of focus for a minute. That was me trying to make an adjustment. Now, I didn't like what it is that I did. So I just put the projector into reverse, ran it back, just left the camcorder running until I got to a point that I could start over again. I have changed the shutter speed now to 1 slash 60 on the camcorder. Okay, this is uh, August of 1987. I have turned 50 years old and we're in Alaska. This is actually in a lake just outside of Anchorage and I am flying in a pontoon aircraft like this out into the wilderness about 80 miles to fish for king salmon. And uh, we could fish almost uh, 22 hours out of the day because at that time of the year the sun was up almost all year round and it was always a dream of mine to catch king salmon. Um, there was dogs in the camp's ground and, uh, to keep the bears out. Anyway, I didn't get, the, get that king salmon, so I got back to Anchorage. Uh, Omi and I drove down to the Canine Peninsula. Here we are on the Canine River, and I have hooked in to a uh, king salmon that we find, when we finally landed it and weighed it, it weighed 59 and a half pounds. I mean, that was... Uh, uh, birthday gift and a half for me. It's a fond memory. I hope that someday you get to uh, go and do these type of things too because it was fun going into Alaska and, and uh, catching such a big fish. I remember you and I caught uh, the pink salmon when we were in Valdez and there it is. Anyway, Ian have a good life. Uh, this was fun making. Uh, showed a little bit about the history of the Hale family and two grandparents that love you dearly. Have fun in high school. You're just starting this year. That's a fish.
All right, no wisecracks about the bare feet. When I was little, we lived in the country, and I didn't like to wear shoes unless I was forced into them. My name is Tommy Hale. I am about eight years old and in the Cub Scouts. I am also going to be your tour guide. And besides that, I am also the editor, the director, the producer, the program manager, and the historian of this historic film. What we're about to view are old 8mm films mixed with photographs starting back in 1937. This is a story of my sister Betty Louise and myself, of our parents and some of our relatives. It, it is an effort to preserve some of the family history for future generations. That's my sister and she has a golf club in her hand. Nineteen thirty-seven. That's my dad, Pearly Hale, with me in his arms. That's my mom, Zoe Hale, with me in her arms. And I have an older sister. She's so old, she already walk and talk and push a baby buggy. My name really is Tommy Hale, and a lot of you did not know that there was a Tommy Hale in the family, but there really is. My dad had a best friend by the name of Tommy Willis, and that's where they came up with the name Tommy. Now he also had an uncle, Tommy Willis did, by the name of Charles, and he was another one of my dad's best friends. So they wanted to call me Thomas Charles Hale. But my dad or my parents found out that there was an entertainer with the name of Thomas Charles, so they simply reversed the name and named me Charles Thomas. I was known as Tommy until I entered high school in 1952 where upon my own, I decided to use my first name and my last name. So I am now known as Chuck Hale, or Uncle Chuck, or Grandpa, whatever you want to call me. 